Here's Slipper Rock head coach Sean Lutz, a 49 to 24 victory over Westchester in the first PSAC crossover of the season. Moved to 2 and 0 on the year. Offense was absolutely explosive tonight. A, a big change from last week when the game started a little bit slower. Uh, you scored 28 points in the first quarter tonight and just dominated from there. Overall thoughts? Yeah, first was a great night. We had a great student section. I always like to talk about the Rock Rowdies, the community. Um, it is a great show. That's why we play these games at night. We got another one next week. I like being on. I like being these night games at home, John. But first of all, Westchester's a quality opponent, and to to win the way we did, I am pleased. Uh, the improvement from week one to week two, very happy about that. Um, Braden Braden Long just really grew up, and you saw his improvement. I mean, he didn't miss many tonight. And you know how good, what Kyle Sheets has done, and our running back. But give credit to the offensive line. Um, special teams, we started off with a great kickoff return. That was awesome to see right there. Special teams have been great. Defensively, we got some big turnovers. Um, I just like the way we started, and I thought our tempo made a difference tonight, and um, I thought Westchester got tired. You uh, you mentioned Braden Long, a, a huge step up in uh, in his performance from week one to week two, settling into the starting role. 19 of 24 for 312 yards, four touchdowns, second game in a row with no turnovers for the offense. Talk about his performance. I mean, that's just a, an electric performance. Calm, cool, collective. He really is. He did a great job tonight, and Westchester tried to get pressure a lot of different spots. He stepped up the pocket when he needed. He he like sidearm one on a guy on a on a uh, arrow route that we call. He just really did a great job. And the two deep balls for Kyle Sheets, they were right on the money. I mean, they were right on the money. Again, I, I think he's going to be special. Uh, I love that he got so much better, you, you know, and it, it just shows the confidence that we have in Braden. And you mentioned Kyle Sheets. It was really a game-time decision as to whether or not he was going to be able to play this week. He was injured on the very first series last week, only played three snaps uh, in the opener, and you weren't sure until this morning he was going to play. He comes out here, he ends up getting a start, and uh, he goes for over 100 yards with two touchdown catches. Just uh, talk about Kyle Sheets. He's a monster. I mean, he really is. What I mean by that is a big guy like that, 6'4", that runs that way, high points of ball. Um, he's a mismatch at this level. And uh, it just gave the offense when we found out he was dinged up from last week. We just found out basically last night, today, this morning, and uh, it made a huge difference. And again, Logan Ramper, another little fade in the end zone. But how about the way Dorsey? I know you're going to ask me that next. Uh, the running backs, Dorsey and Edwards, way they way they just got downhill and moved that football. And uh, Dorsey got a second straight start, went for over 100 yards on only just 14 carries tonight. He also had a receiving touchdown, a little little pitch that could have been a rush, but uh, went forward for, for a receiving touchdown. Two touchdowns on the night for him. Isaiah Edwards in the end zone again. They both averaged more than five and a half yards per carry on the night. Uh, are, are you dynamic when you can throw the ball the way you did and run the football the way you did tonight? Yeah, because it, it starts with our offensive line. I mean, I, I, I got to give, I, I got to say their name, Yuri, Colton, um, Stager, uh, Burkhart, Joe Cooper. I got to say those guys, Chris Conrad does a great job with those guys. They paved the way, man. Um, again, I think the only team that can stop our offense is ourselves. And that's the nice thing about it. We haven't turned over the football. So really happy for those guys. And uh, it was just good to see. And on the other side of the ball, you gave up a lot of yards tonight offensively. Westchester moved the ball at will in the in the first half. They put up over 320 yards of offense in the first half, but they turned the ball over three times with three interceptions, and that was really the difference going into halftime uh, as the two teams combined for over 600 yards of offense in that first half. Talk about the defense, kind of a bend-don't break. You did come up with the three turnovers, but I know you're not satisfied with the defensive effort. No, I mean, first of all, i got to get Westchester, quarterback. He's special. You saw him. He is shifty. He maneuvers. He's hard to tackle. He's a receiver playing quarterback, and he throws better than that. And uh, I think he's young. I think he's only a sophomore. He's going to be really good. I'm glad. I don't think we play Westchester next year, but he, he's going to make plays. And uh, you know, but we got we got to make plays. We're in position to make plays. We got to do the turnovers. Really set the tone. That really helped us. But we're not pleased. We we got to get better on defense. And it, it just seems like the last two weeks, the way offense has been doing it is primer football outside the tackle tight end box staying away from the meat and potatoes of our d-line who i think is our strength and and our linebackers and making this a wide open game has been doing a good job but we'll adjust we'll get better um and uh we gotta start making those plays and uh lastly get you out of here uh 30th consecutive night victory in, in a night game haven't lost a night game since 2012 homer on the road we talk about it every time you have a night game it yeah. seems but uh you know, what is it about the atmosphere here at The Rock that, that, that keeps this streak going? 
I don't know, man. It's starting to get a mystique out there, man. Rock Rowdies, I don't know, man. But it, it, it's just special. I mean, it is awesome to see the people tailgating, enjoying it. And uh, just the, the student section and, and just the people all around here. It, it is just awesome. I think it's hard to beat the atmosphere we have. And uh, I'll keep going with it. We have another one next week. And we got a tough uh, opponent in Millersville who's 2-0 right now. So we need that again. 2-0 uh, again on the year. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you, and go Rock.